With Etsy Print On Demand, one of the most important things that you can do to be successful is one, understanding who your competition is, and two, understanding what is selling well out on the Etsy marketplace so that you can then create your own designs based on those trends and niches that are doing well already. And if you've been on YouTube or any of the social media platforms that teach you about those various tools to do that, you know that there are a lot of options out there and it can be very overwhelming to understand which is the best option, which is the most affordable, especially if you're just starting out and don't want to spend or have a whole lot to invest in a ton of tools in the beginning. In today's video, I wanna give you an option that is entirely free to get you started. I use this on an ongoing basis and it's the way that I can efficiently do research on competition and learn what is selling well on Etsy right now. In case we haven't met yet, hey there friend, my name is Mandy, I'm a busy Midwest boy mama, former HR director turned full-time handmade small business entrepreneur and builder of print-on-demand shops that all together have reached almost six figures in less than a year all while not having to touch a single product or ship anything out to a customer myself. I'm obsessed with sharing knowledge that simplifies the Etsy print-on-demand process so that truly anyone can feel empowered to start their own journey. So the website that I like to use, it's etsyhunt.com. And while I do have several paid options as part of their offering, what I want to talk about and show you is their free e-commerce plugins. So under their toolkit tab, when we head to free e-commerce plugins, you can see all of them. And the two that I like to use are Etsy Hunt, their Etsy ring tool, an Etsy tags tool. So you do have to use the Chrome browser with them or the Edge browser. I prefer to use Chrome so we'll take a look and see what that looks like when we have it turned on. So once you've installed it onto your browser, when you head to Etsy you can then run searches as normal. So let's say we want to search for Mother's Day shirts. So we'll select that and we'll run our search like we normally do. When you've got the Etsy Hunt plugin, you will see these numbers appear on every listing. Now, as you get further in, sometimes it doesn't populate, but definitely on the first one to two pages, you will absolutely see it as part of your scrolling experience on Etsy. So you can see the most loved up here. When we look at the data that it gives us at a glance without having to click in, without having to push any buttons, completely for free, we see the basic data about the listings. So we can see that this one right now, seven day sales is 82 and total sales is 2,600. So this is a potentially great listing to look at for ideas if we wanted to create something similar. Same with this one. It's got great sales. It's had 5,600 and so it's a very popular design and you can see it's a custom one with simple birth month flowers. So it gives us lots of details at a glance and makes our research very efficient when we're trying to look at and see what is selling out on Etsy currently and landing on kind of that first or second page within the search results. And so then what I do with this information is as I see items that are popular and appear to be selling well, especially ones that have been listed within the last six months or so. So this one, for example, I can then dive into it further. So when I click on that listing with the same extension installed, the other piece of information that I can see is the tags that are associated with that listing, as well as, again, some basic data available as part of those search results. Again, this is all part of that free Etsy rank tool. And then once I find a listing, this is an absolutely not about copying any design that another seller is doing. That is absolutely what we do not want to do. We are looking at this to understand the styles of designs that are selling well, the niches that are selling well in a particular search, 
and we're also looking at the titles and tags because the fact that this listing is doing well and is showing up on my first page results means that they are ranking well for these types of search terms within their title and their tags and so then we can save this information as we're creating our own unique creative designs, we can then use some of these terms in our own titles and tags as long as they're relevant to what we are designing. The other component that is part of this extension is this batch analysis. So if we are looking at just one single page here, and we click on this batch analysis button, it's going to scan everything that's currently on our screen so that we can see again that data at a glance. So if we wanna see very popular items that have sold well within the last week or so, we can sort it by any of these. So if I search by seven day sales, you can see these results that are appearing at the top. So this is the one that we just looked at. There's another one here. You can see, again, very basic information at a glance on these listings. And if I expand and push the little down arrow, I can again see the basic information about that listing. So again, I've got my tags here. I could click into the store if I want to. And then if you've got their Etsy Hunt subscription, if I click on the sales trend, it then takes me to that specific page in Etsy Hunt so that I can see that listing's past performance and I can see the performance of the product tags that are being used. So again, this is phenomenal information to have and it's all within one system, which is what I love. The other tag extension that I mentioned, this Etsy tags tool, it is also free when you use it for your Chrome or Edge extension. And so what happens is I get this little button here when it also shows up on each of the listings. But if I click on tag extractor when I'm on the full page, I can then get results and Google Trends for tags that are appearing as part of this first page of search results. So again, a lot of it is at a glance. You can see these mama sweatshirts are very popular right now. And then I can see a lot of that information at a glance. You can do the same thing when you are clicked into a listing. So if we look at this one, which is super popular, you can see it's a personalized mom shirt. Personalized items, if you've never heard me talk about them, are a great way to break into saturated niches like mom shirts. So this seller has done that in a unique way. They have some great titles and tags that we could explore. And then if we click on this tag extractor, we then have the ability to see which of the tags are generally performing better in terms of views, competition, sales, and Google Trends. And again, all that this requires is that you create an account with EtsyHunt.com so that you've got an account associated with it and that you have downloaded these free extensions for either your Chrome or Edge browser. I hope this video has been helpful for you and that you'll give Etsy Hunt's free extensions a try. If you do, let me know how that goes in the comments and if you've got any questions about how to use it or if you want to see more, I try to answer as many comments as I can so be sure to leave your questions there for me. As always, keep doing your research, stay consistent, and I'll see you next time. And if you're looking for more helpful ways to continue the work and stay connected, I invite you to join me over on Patreon, where I provide a membership to get exclusive access to my Google Drive with all sorts of wonderful tools and resources that I've created and continue adding to every month. It's also a place to join conversations as I think about future content and how I can serve you with the most amount of value. I also hope that you'll smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all the exciting upcoming content that I've got planned for this channel.
And finally, I invite you to check out my brand new website where you can subscribe to my own email list, follow along on new blog content that I will be building, and access other freebies that I have available on there to support you on your journey. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, stay consistent and keep going. I am cheering you on, my friend.